Good morning. Hey, sugar babies. How y'all doing? How you doing? How you doing? Oh, thank you, Lord. You woke us up another day. We might have woke up and might not have had good sleep or good rest or Might have woke up in pain and something on your mind. But how are we going to handle that today? Whatever it is, I hope that the Lord give you a word and that he guide you and that you're able to find some peace or be less stressed out, less anxiety, less worry. All of that. Whatever it is you need, I hope it is given to you today. It is the day that the Lord has made. Let us all try our best. That's not what the word says exactly. But let us all try our best to rejoice and be glad in it. Okay? Oh, yo. Oh. Yeah. I'm going to try to vlog a little bit. <laughs> I'm laughing at myself. Um, It is now September. And I think they usually start the vlogging in what? October? Vlogtober? I'm going to try to vlog in September. How about that? I'm going to try. Um, I do have a few things on my plate today. One, I need to get up and get myself cleaned up. Get rid of this dragon. Um, that kind of thing. I know I need, a, I got a few. Child, this double neck is doing some things. You hear me? Wow. Ooh, let's do it from this side. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> um... I didn't clean the kitchen last night. I went to bed. I did. Um, I think the dining room need to be straightened up and vacuumed. What else? Um, I have laundry to fold up. I got a few more loads of clothes to wash. Um. I'm not going to worry about dinner because we have leftovers. Uh, what else? I need to do my linen closet, which will be in a separate video, but I need to do it today. Um, hmm. I don't know. But whatever else come my way. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, I don't know. I need to clean my outside refrigerator. The deep freezer is outside. I really need to clean it. But the mosquitoes is they ridiculous. Like, I don't know. I don't know what we need to do for our for our yard, period. It's front, side, and back. And we've been raking up the leaves. So the ground is not covered with leaves, but it's still wet. And until we have like three, four days of just sunshine, I don't know. I don't know what's going to get it. Um, Pay somebody to come and spray the mosquitoes. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I've been looking at people talking about spray pine saw. That's a lie. I sprayed my whole entire front down with the biggest thing of pine saw you can get from Home Depot or Lowe's with straight pine saw, no water, just pine saw. Look like the mosquitoes just started gravitating, like for real. Like they were just like, ooh, we smell pine saw. Uh, 
Something smell good. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have enough. Um, I think that's mint. I don't know if it's spearmint or mint in my pot to drive away the skeeters. But I think I have four grow bags left. And um, I'm thinking about splitting. I got one pot that is just full of mint or spearmint. I'm thinking about splitting it into four different pots and just let it grow. Um, I have three small pots, I mean five small pots, but I need some more grow bags. That's what I need, some more grow bags. And I think the grow bags is what I want to put like um, onions and the lavender and see I could put that in more instead of just because what I'm using is I'm using old storage bins that I had outside I'm using like old wash tubs that we had that we used to use for our crab pots that might have a hole in the bottom I'm using those I still have my refrigerator containers that came out of my old refrigerator like the drawers I still have those so I'm thinking about using those as well. I know it's going to look all kinds of put together, y'all, like Sanford and Son, but I don't want it to look Sanford and Sonish. You get what I'm saying? I don't know how to do it. Um, the big pots that I want to use, they cost more than what my budget will allow. They, and yeah. Um, I need six big pots to camouflage the bricks on my front porch that is attached to so basically the legs on the canopies out front I need more than six two four six I need 12 pots that will stand tall enough to cover it because I want to cover up the brick the second canopy doesn't have bricks it's not cemented in bricks, but um, I want to put it in pots um, to make it look a little more decorative. You know what I mean? So I'm going to look on Amazon. I know they can, stuff could be real expensive on Amazon. Um, I'm going to look on Target. That's what I'm going to do. That way I don't have to spend no money. Not a lot anyway. Um... It's not in my budget right now, but I'm, that's going to be part of my window shopping. I did some window shopping the other day to get some inspiration of um, for fall and Christmas. Now, mm, I was looking to incorporate like this green in my shirt in my living room. I have a green throw this color, but I don't have any green decor like i don't have anything other than the christmas tree that's green so i was like wow and then i have some green curtains but i don't have anything else to mix in it to bring it out so that didn't pan out i said maybe i'll go for that for christmas so i just pulled out my christmas tree and just found all of the things that will be in what i would consider to be fall colors and it's the same thing I did on the tree last year. Last year, I had some flowers. I can't find my flowers at the moment. I may have thrown them out like a dummy. <sighs> so, that's that. And, um... So, I have some spots left open on the tree. I don't know. But Target, like I said, I'm going to look on Target for some pots because... Um, when it comes time for me to order my laundry detergent again, the gift cards that I get from ordering my laundry detergent, I can use that towards my pots. So that'll be a good one. Um, mm -hmm. So maybe next week, 
I know, because we've been washing clothes and um, washing bedding, even though we don't go anywhere. You still got to keep your bedding clean. You know what I mean? Like, I, I could tell, like, if I lay on my sheets for maybe three or four days and they don't feel soft, like when I first put them on, they got to come off. <laughs> Sometimes I'll just take them and fluff them out. And I don't know. If it don't feel like I want it to feel, then I got to take them off. Even if they only been on there three days. But thank God I have more than one set of sheets. So I have a clean set that I can put on. I think I might have like three or four um, sheet sets that's in my rotation. Um, for this king size bed, child. Because... I have some queen size and I'm like, I messed around and went to Target one time and they had some sheets on clearance. And then I thought, well, the packaging said king size, right? And it said for $10 and it was some gray sheets. And I was like, Ooh, now that's a lick. Cause they was regular, like $65 sheets y'all. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and I know that's not expensive, but it is to me. Okay. So I get to the register, they rung up $4. Baby got home, took them out the pack, was going to put them on the bed, looked on the inside of the label, the thing said queen size. I was like, I said, don't this say king size? Gillen was like, now how they do that? I said, I don't know. I didn't ever take them back. Because they wasn't but a few dollars, like shoot. So... I used them on my blow-up bed. So I was like, okay, so whenever I blow up the mattress, there we go. I got it. Okay. So I have those, but I can't use them on this bed. So we're going to see. I want to, I know like my, the, the pots and stuff is not priority. Priority right now is I got to go through and make my grocery list of the stuff that we've used. And um, I need another laundry detergent. Um, what else? Um, whole milk. What is some stuff that be on y'all grocery list? I know I need whole milk, um, heavy whipping cream, rice that's what i keep running out of rice i didn't buy it when i went to walmart um a few weeks ago they only had two bags of rice left on the kind that i get they only had two on the shelf and um so i grabbed that and then i had got some uh rice in a grocery order that was like regular rice so i was fine but baby we done cooked every day since then okay okay i think i may have enough for just maybe another pot of rice today um because we've cooked and it just goes fast like for real like put it in the rice cooker i think g might make like two cups of rice at a time sometimes three it depends on um what all we have he might do three four cups of rice and you would think that that would last. No, let me tell y'all, because Corey, whenever we make greens, he puts rice in the bottom of his bowl and the juice off the greens. So he will eat that at least three, four times a day, okay? Now, y'all might be saying that's too much rice. Tell that to God and God alone, because when the boy can't eat other stuff, what else do you give him? Um... So he'll eat that. Um, then whatever else we might have, like if we have a roast with gravy, you know, we eating the rice. And then everybody else got to eat. So that rice, it'll go. We might have a little bit left for the next day. But then he'll get up and he'll eat again. That'll be his breakfast because he don't eat grits. Well, he do eat grits, but he don't, he have to crave it. So if he asks for grits, then we'll give him some grits. Um, 
you know, he's not allowed to have eggs because he's allergic. He will eat a sausage. He'll eat bacon. He don't eat toast. He actually don't eat bread. How about that? Um, he will eat crackers like saltine crackers, but that's not breakfast. He don't eat pancakes, waffles, anything like that. Um, no cream of wheat. None. He, he don't eat it. So grits and he can't have butter. So it just be grits with a little salt. Um, he don't eat grits and sausage together. It'll be grits or a sausage or grits or bacon. Um, Oh, and he eats dry cereal. So he'll eat Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Fruit Loops, Apple Jacks, Frosted Flakes. And I think that's it. So hopefully, I, that's one of my prayers for his taste buds to open up for him to desire to try other things every now and then he'll eat some grapes he don't eat strawberries every now and then he'll eat an apple and i can understand where the apple is concerned because they his gums are still sore from and he has to, to he he yeah from those blisters and um so that's the thing so i try to keep him good mouthwash and toothpaste and stuff like that because he get canker sores too a lot but we're gonna see how it go y'all i mean that's just a few things i know i gotta do i don't know when i'm gonna do it but i gotta do that um so i may go through i don't it's not very much in the pantry that needs to be replaced i know that i have to replace the tuna fish because we go through tuna fish so crazy because i eat tuna fish you know that's my lunch that'll be my dinner um that's a meal for all of us um and they were out of the four packs and the eight packs of tuna um oh goodness but i'm gonna see i may have i may have to switch some things around because i try to do more things that's, you know, with me not having to come out of pocket for anything. Um, so I may use my gift card because I got, I think I have one. I'm going to see what my rewards are on uh, Sam's Club and see if I have any on Costco. If I have rewards on that, then I can use those to get a few things. Um, mm, we'll see. And Walmart, they need now. Walmart has good rewards too. It depends on, like, with all of them, uh, certain products that you buy, you get rewards. So, like, sometimes the cereal, they say if you choose the 24 ounce box, you get a dollar and 50 cent back in rewards. So, hey, I'll do that. You know what I mean? They'll, they'll eventually add up, especially, um, if you buy a lot of cereal and you can hold it like your rewards and let it build up and go from there. Mm -hmm. But we're going to see y'all. I don't know. Tell me what y'all got to put on y'all list. It is. I don't know what the weather's like. It's still hot and muggy, rainy, a slight breeze every, every now and then, but the mosquitoes and the flies, the lizards, all that stuff is still on deck. Um, I saw some little, uh, they look like the golf ball size um, snake repellents. They these little balls. And I saw them on Amazon that you can put in your yard. So we're looking to do some things around the house, period. You don't have to be suited and booted. You're going to need one of those, um, those masks because his allergies is getting so bad. It's hard for him to even really get outside in the yard like he want to because once he start messing with those leaves and stuff, oh my goodness, he be pitiful. Eyes itching, running. No matter whether he take the medicine or not, it's just, and he's never really had allergies like that. But this past two years, it's getting worse and worse. So, 
and your mind been acting up. So, hey, that's how that go. <sighs> mm -hmm. I'm going to try my best not to eat anything for breakfast, but I got a, I got a few green grapes left. I may try to do, like, I don't think I have any more lettuce. I may have a cucumber. I may just cut me up a cucumber if I have it and put some apple cider vinegar on it. And um, eat that. And um, I need some... Okay, Tropical Smoothie Cafe has a smoothie that I absolutely love, y'all. Oh, my gosh. It's the Island something Island. Island something. But it has passion fruit in it, guava, mango, and pineapple. Oh, my word. That thing is so good. And I need to find me. I need to get some pineapple, some guava, some passion fruit. Um... And mango. I want to try to recreate it. I don't know how much of whatever to add. Um, I don't know what kind of sweetener they add to it. But that thing is absolutely delicious. Oh. And I was looking on my app to see if I had any free ones. Child, no. I don't use them all up. But it's all right. But I got to do a review on a, a juicer. And... Um, I got to read it again because I don't know if I can use frozen stuff. I think I have to use fresh. Just from reading the instructions, I see right now you're kind of limited, you know, because certain things they tell you not to use in it. But I need one that you can, that's going to do hard stuff too. Like I don't, I don't know, but we're going to see. So I'm going to try to do that. I think the review is due tomorrow. So whenever you see this video, just know that it, it was one of those days or maybe way past. Because I still have some stuff on my phone that I need to get out that was recorded back in, what's this, back in June and July. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> I have been, I'm craving me a baked potato, y'all. Like, for real, for real. But I know I don't need it. I need some more sweet potatoes. Um, I had some sweet potato tots. Y'all, those things were so good. Mm, mm, mm. I can't, I haven't been able to get out to Sprouts to get me any. Um, who was them people? Target didn't have them when I went to use my reward card. They didn't have them. Um, Publix didn't have any more and walmart don't carry them period if they do it hasn't been showing up online i try not to go in the store at all these days i know i need to get out but i don't know it just i don't know some days i may feel like it and when i go i'll be so tired because it's like you're in a traffic jam. You you are in a virtual, you are in a living video game because you got the rude people. You got the people that move real fast. You got the people that move real slow. You got the nonchalant people. You got the angry people. You just, it just, you got a whole lot of that you got to deal with. You got the workers, the I don't know workers. You got the over, the ones that be missing. Then you got some don't want to be bothered. like, And then you got the select few. It like be one or two in the store that'll help you. Like stuff be on the very top shelf. How do little people get that? If you ain't over six, six feet, how do you get that? Like for real. And then you ask somebody, let me find somebody that work in this area. You mean to tell me? It's a, it's a time for real. I'm like, okay. Mm. child i'd be better off 
walking across the whole store to the pharmacy and tell them I need one of them little things, the little sticks that you pick up stuff with when you can't reach it. Walk over there and get it myself by the time they find somebody to come help you. Yeah. Or buy one in a... Just get, get a broomstick. Knock everything down off the top shelf. That would be wrong to do. Unless I plan to put it back. You know what I mean? And by need to pull it off down and put it on the shelf where it need to be. I don't get it. I don't get it. And listen, I can complain about a lot of things. But when you work in retail... I know how frustrating they can be. I've been there, done that, okay? But the thing about it is, you are more productive. Um, and you, it, it's it's not as stressful if you, if you don't wait for somebody to tell you to do it. You know what I mean? If you look on the shelf and you see stuff getting low, just get the stuff from up top and put it down. Like, for real, be proactive, you know? Not reactive. You don't want to have to respond to somebody giving you, uh, girl, the thing missing, you know, just you see it's missing. Pull everything from up there down that you can. Now, unless they tell you that's overstock, it's got to stay there for a given period of time. I don't know if folks do that because I haven't worked in retail in a long time, but I don't know. And I know me. I, I'll take something and wipe it down and then stick it on the shelf, child. Mm -hmm. and they get perturbed when they putting stuff on the shelf if you walk up there and get it well what do you want me to do if i need it <laughs> Woo! i almost dropped y'all <laughs> if i need it what do i do y'all i've been ranting for 27 minutes oh my gosh let me get up from here wash my face brush my gums and my teeth assist change my clothes oh i'm gonna have to cut some of this out <laughs> <laughs> Cut some of this out. <sighs> Y'all, I was doing that that oil pulling. And I'm here to tell you, sometimes stuff is not easy to deal with. And I'm going to tell you, that's one of them. I could not get used to the, that, that coating of that oil on my tongue. <laughs> Don't want to deal with funky breath either but you know what i mean oh this right here i still got a half a bottle y'all got a half a bottle now this toothbrush is soft that thing is nice I always brush my teeth with no toothpaste first. Especially up in my gums, like. Girl, when my gums got to go all the way up like this? <laughs> Toothpaste, gum detox. I had got um, with my rewards from Target. I told most of what is this one? See, give me another fern. That's Galen pack. This is my pack. But with my hold on a minute, with my rewards from Target. 
I got some, um, it's called the Deep Clean. Let me see if I can get it without knocking y'all down. The Crest Deep Clean. They had these on sale. I don't remember what the sale was. And the Pro Health, this one is one of my favorites. And then I think you had to get three to get um, a $15 gift card. And then I got some mouthwash. And I get this and another one for Corey because of his, um, the canker sores that he get. And I got this, uh-oh, the gum detox oral rinse. So I haven't had to crack those open yet because I'm still using my Listerine. And I use the TheraBreath. And I use Sepacol. I try not to use the same one over and over because I don't want to get, you know, used to it you know how you use stuff so much that oh and my favorite is the sensodyne because i have very sensitive teeth this is probably what i should be using oh shoot calamity i'm gonna have to really look at this video because baby all kind of stuff happening Y'all passing out of things. Okay. My son. Mm. Let me camera I might y'all might not even see this part. But then you might keep G some Bazin. Okay. Wash my dirty face. Well, it ain't dirty, but I haven't cleansed it. Cleansed it. I'm using the foam cleaner. Still soaking the blood. This is one of my favorite rags. When they be textured on one side and cloth on another. This one I get from um, Walmart. I use my makeup for that one. And then I get the one that's just mesh. So I have a little hook up here that I hang them on over my sink. I got two of these. So I have two that I use for makeup and two that I don't. Well, the rest I don't. I got two of these. I got to find the other one. Ooh, that feels good. Base feels refreshed. Um, do I have any breakouts? Use a little lotion. 
and I'm going to use a little <clears throat> castor oil on my face. I mix it together. I don't know why I mixed those two together. Y'all, I was greasy all day. Do you hear me? Now, it don't usually do me like that, but for some reason today, I look like I bathed myself in baby oil. Mm -mm. So I had to wash it off. And let me get myself done up and away. I'm greasy, but it'll be all right. I'll be back in just a few. Okay, y'all. So, got my clothes on. I'm going to put my socks on and I'm going to get this bed made up. I'm greased up. And uh, let's get to getting. So I'm going to let my word play while I do this. verse of the day it is Psalms 94 and 19 when anxiety was great within me your consolation brought me joy mm -hmm.
living room is straight. <laughs> That's that hole I got to fix right there. It's looking real crazy. Looking real crazy. Looking a little different. And I gotta wash some dishes. Can't play no music. Cause I get it shrapnel. Over there. I already know most of this will be fast forwarded. So I think on this part, we'll fast forward.
Just the skin. 